Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would to request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSC futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so talking about the reaction and action levels when it comes to day trading is something that needs to be observed very neatly and very closely because the trades have to be executed in the action level and not in the reaction level. Okay, and as a trader, if you get confused with these two things, then the trades have all the chances to go wrong. Yeah, so in this video, we will go ahead and discuss the importance of the reaction and action levels. And not to forget, we have to first discuss what exactly the reaction and action levels are. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the help of an indicator to understand these levels. Okay, as I keep saying, all the indicators help you in determining the support and resistance points or the support and resistance levels. Okay, or the zones, whatever you call it. Okay, and it depends on you as to which indicator you use. So for the sake of this video, let's take the help of Fibonacci retracement to explain where the reaction and action, le action levels are. Okay, and just to repeat it, guys, using Fibonacci retracement is not a mandate. Please be mindful about that. You can use any indicator which works well for you. If you are somebody who has been using Pivot since years or months and you see that it, is, it has been working really fine with you, go ahead with Pivot Points. If you are somebody who is making use of uh, moving averages to find out support and resistance levels, go ahead with that. Okay, so it is not mandatory that you have to use Fibonacci retracement. It is just for the sake of this video that I'm using the Fibonacci retracement as an example. Okay, but even before we start with, just have it in your mind that reaction level is something where the market is giving you a hint that the prices might go up or down. And the hints can be like multiple rejections at a particular Fibonacci level or maybe showing a particular bullish or bearish candlestick pattern or maybe breaching a particular support or resistance level. All these things might happen. Okay, anything, but it has to be a hint. So this will be your reaction level wherein you are waiting for the confirmation from the market to either go long or short. Okay, whereas if you talk about the reaction level, that is the point when you initiate a trade in real time. It might be a buy trade or a sell trade, but in the action level, you are taking the action by initiating your trade. 
okay so i hope you are clear on the, on this part as of now okay now let's move ahead and go to the charts and let me explain the things there so that things will be more clearer okay so i'm so sorry just a moment let me go ahead and yeah let me bring in the chart here okay so this is um aditya billa abfrl that we call it as uh and this is a 15 minutes chart of abfrl okay let's discuss about what happened on 6th of april last fr uh, last uh, thursday okay friday was a holiday market holiday so it's a thursday's 15 minutes chart okay now the first candle of the day right it was a long wick that was uh, given at the bottom of the candle which tells us that bulls want to take the control and eventually we saw that it went up okay now remember one point just by getting a long wick at the bottom of the candlestick will not always uh, prove that the bulls are in control and it will not always be the case that the stock prices will go up okay so there is a lot of there are a lot of things that go behind this but just for the sake of explanation since a long wick has been created here we eventually see that the prices have been going up now we need to go ahead and bring in the fibonacci retracement when do we bring the fibonacci retracement when the up move finishes and we get a red candle so this is the red candle that we got and once this red candle is closed we will bring in the fibonacci retracement okay so let's bring in the fibonacci retracement and how do we draw it it's from the day's low till the recent day's high so this is the recent day's high right so we drop it there and this is the fibonacci retracement okay so what does it uh, tells us what does fibonacci retracement tells us it tells us that this stock right now is in an uptrend for sure because it has been making green candles continuously since the last one hour okay so it is obviously in an uptrend now it cannot be the case that it will keep on giving green candles throughout the day right it has to retrace right so while the retracement happens we will get a couple of red candles and this level 23.6 percent level is one of the support areas or the support point where abfrl can take a support and move up further this is how you analyze using the fibonacci retracement right now i don't want to go deeper into fibonacci retracement i i believe i have already made a video about it if you want you can search in my channel and have a look at that video i have clearly explained how to read how to analyze and how to take trades uh, if you are someone who is deeply into fibonacci retracement trading okay so uh, the explanation that i just gave you right now is a basic explanation wherein the stock is going up and since it cannot go up continuously since it cannot give green candles continuously throughout the day it has to retrace back right and while retracing back 23.6 percent is the first support that it it will see okay and as a trader if you see that the prices are taking support at 23.6 percent and moving up further then you initiate a buy trade okay now in this scenario let me bring in the pencil okay just a moment right so in this scenario where is the reaction level the reaction level are these three candles okay these three candles are the reaction levels wherein the market is giving a hint to a trader that the stock is in an uptrend but it will retrace for some time and then it might go up so these three candles okay just a moment oh yeah so these three candles are the reaction level on this chart clear now talking about the action level where is the action level the action level is here now it came down it is clearly taking a support now now as you can see here 
the uh, candlesticks are have not touched the 23.6 percent it is not necessary for the candlesticks to be touching the support or resistance levels all the time okay it can come very close to the support level and then spike up again right the same thing is happening here but what you need to concentrate is when is it taking the support so this green candle clearly is taking a support okay and once it closes your entry will be at this level right when this candle this green candle closes and the next candle breaches the high of this candle you take a buy trade put the stop loss just below the Fibonacci level because that is acting as a support and as I always say your stop losses should be not should not be kept exactly at the support level but just below the support level okay so your stop loss is here your entry is here and since we are trading a 200 rupees script I normally target for a 2 rupees move okay so let's say for example if this uh, is at 213 approximately okay if uh, 213 or uh, 213.25 is your entry i expect the stock to be going going up at least till 215 or 214.85 or 95 and you can see here it easily went up till there okay another catch uh, to this trade is there will be two type of traders one trader is the one which uh, I just explained right uh, they took the entry here just a moment they took the entry here at the pink line and the wait for the target to be achieved that is around two points another kind of a trader will be the one who will take the entry here and they will come out at this level because they see this as a resistance which is absolutely fine in intraday trading in a 200 rupees script even if you are catching 1 rupees or 1.5 rupees that is also a decent catch okay what matters is you are following the technicals and the technicals are going according to your anticipation that is what is important that is what it matters okay what matters at the end of the day is you should be in greens you should be in profits okay so two type of traders one will take out their profits at this resistance level another trader will another, another type of traders they will wait for the uh, target to be reached which is two points in this case okay so in this case this will be your action level right here right here once this candle's high is breached that becomes your action level because you initiate your trade at that particular price okay so what happened further so this trade was a green trade and then market again started going up and it again fell right now when this high was made okay let me get back now when this high was made if you are somebody who is into Fibonacci trading then you have to again draw the Fibonacci and make sure that it goes till the recent days high right so now the recent days high is here just a moment so now the recent days high is here right this is the recent days high so you have to move the Fibonacci point to that level from the recent from the days low to the recent days high okay i hope that is clear now what's happening now it started falling again it is very clearly falling and this time again our support level will be the 23.6 percent so what's happening at this 23.6 percent line clearly clearly it is taking a support but what will be your entry point now let's talk about the uh, reaction level so what are the reaction levels here let me bring in the arrow so what are the reaction levels here all the sorry all these candles are the reaction levels wherein the market is giving you a hint that it is not able the prices are not able to breach a particular support line that is 23.6 percent line and you can anticipate that the stock prices might go up again further in the upward direction so all these candles become your reaction levels and when will you take your entry what will be your action level the action level will be here 
at this candle right this green candle so where will be your uh, entry your entry will be at this point when the prices breach this green candles high is when you take the entry right why the reason is very simple it is very clear that this support level was uh, the prices the price was not able to breach this particular support level okay and this green candle again went up and closed above the support level so this green candle confirms that the stock might again go up further so you need to wait for the prices to breach this high this candles high and you take the long entry at this candle okay let me bring in the cursor here okay so uh, 2 45 p.m. candle is when you take your entry and let's say you take your entry at around uh, 214.65 let's round it up to 214.50 you can easily see that the next resistance level is somewhere around 216.40 right so it is around uh, 1 rupees 75 or 85 rupees move which is very close to uh, two points which is one percent of the script price that is 200 right so your entry is here you put a stop loss here just below the support right this is your stop loss this is your entry and this is your target as simple as that okay so this is how it works this is how you go ahead and see where the reaction level is and where the action level is okay one thing to make sure is if you are somebody who is into fibonacci trading then you have to keep changing the drawing right because whenever the market makes a new high you have to make sure that the fibonacci levels are again redrawn to that particular uh, recent high of the day that is the only thing which has to be done manually or else everything else uh, that needs to be read on the chart is pretty simple okay so Right, so uh, so I hope you're clear on what I conveyed here in this video. Just to repeat, be very clear on the reaction and action levels because that would decide the fate of your trade. Okay, see in trading, everything have to be very, very specific. There is no space for guesses or assumptions. Yeah, and the best part is these reaction and action levels help you to achieve those specifics. Okay, so trade well guys and uh, so that's all from uh, that's all from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video the eye symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and also as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about HYIT that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and I will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye